Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. And by the way, we're located right here in the Houston, Texas area. Uh, we're in Porter, right outside of Humble Kingwood area. So uh, if you're ever in the area, stop in and say hello. We just finished up another enclosed van uh, build. A uh, customer of ours and former school student that attended the school probably a year and a half ago uh, shipped us down this van from New York and we built it out for him and it's ready and fixing to head back out. So what I'm doing is a walkthrough for him so that he can uh, understand how everything kind of works, how everything's plumbed. He's He's got a lot of experience in this, but I still just want to do something in case he had any questions or his guys had any questions, then he could refer back to this if they needed to, or they'll just hit me up on Boxer, probably. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought maybe there's some things in here that you guys might find helpful, um, whether you're building your own or you want something like this added uh, when we do your build in the, uh, in the future or whatever. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and hope you get some value out of it. Okay, so uh, we have your eight gallon per minute machine installed here in the back and next to it is the Kingslinger soft wash system. Uh, we have it set up for you like you requested. Um, we have uh, the water inlet so that you can take this off and drain the tank, fill up a five gallon bucket if you want with these banjos. Um, wash your eyes out, get some water on you, whatever you need to do, uh, fill up a pump up sprayer. And then we have your little hose here that you had requested. So when you have to, uh, hook up to another tank on those sites where you're using wells or whatever, and you bring that separate water tank out. So that hose would simply come off and you can hook it right into this banjo. You can cap this off and then run directly the other end. You'll just have to hook it onto your hose bar. But I don't have a fitting on the other end, but uh, it should slide right over your hose bar or however you want to do that. Um, so that's your, that's your hose to go out to your other tank, your satellite tank, as you had mentioned. Um, got the exhaust pointing out for you on the pressure washer. So when you're running it, um, it's going to come right out the back door. So keep the doors open. And all the plumbing is, of course, uh, you know, run to where you really don't have any room to walk in here or whatever. But it's run to where it's kind of hidden and nice and clean. Uh, and then also hooked to the pressure washer is your Flow Pro remote system. And so that's the main box. And what you want to do when you get to every job is you want to first turn this on like that. And then you're going to take your remote. You're going to make sure the side button has an off and on button. One side says F, that's for off. The other side says N, that's for on. So you're going to click that on, hit your rinse button twice, and then it should start. hit the rinse not the mix hit the rinse button and it'll start flashing and so what it's doing is actuating uh the actuator down here that's where your uh, downstream injector is and the actuator the ball valve that's going to do the switching and so let that go for at least a minute we always do this while we're running out our hoses and getting hooked up so by the time we're ready to start spraying it's ready to go and it's in rinse mode and so when you want to go to mix, you're simply going to hit the mix button. And the ball valve will change. And then you just give it a minute or so and your leach mix will start coming um, out. As long as you have your three-way three valve over here um, on the right side to draw the bleach. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But then that's all you're doing is you're just going back and forth from mix to rinse here. Now, over here is a three-way valve, and so right now, it's on the water side. 
So if you were to hit the mix button and put your chemical injector nozzle in, all it's going to do is draw water out of the water tank. So you have to make sure to let your guys know that when they're going to start applying their bleach mix, that they take this three-way valve and they turn it over to the soap. And then you're going to be able to get all your uh, bleach mix coming out to apply. So then you just go back and forth from mix to rinse as you need it. Okay. Now, when you're done with the job, you want to rinse the injector out. So what you do is you take this and you slide this over to water. And then you hit the mix button, just like if you were drawing bleach, but now you're going to draw water. And so that'll run water through the injector to rinse your injector out. And then once you're completely done, you've rinsed the injector out. You don't need it anymore. You take this and you turn it to the middle and that will keep anything um, from coming out in case you were to take the injector out or whatever. It'll just eliminate any kind of type of vacuum that was still in the hose. And then just come over here, turn that off, and you're good to go. And then I always turn my remote back off when I'm done with it. You don't have to. It's got a little uh, transistor radio 12 volt battery in it that will uh, last for a long time so you don't have to turn it off. So that's the pressure washer and next I'll go over the Kingslinger with you. Hey real quick don't forget our uh, online video school we have that available pressurewashingschool.com and as well, we also don't forget Pat Clark's sales boost. We have that on the online school that you can purchase as well. And then we have our monthly school coming up August. I think it's the 14th and 15th. That's our next one. We just got done with the one in July. By the time you see this, it would have been last week. But uh, our next one is coming up in August. We'll throw the schedule up so you can see it. And again, all of the information on the school you can get at pressurewashingschool.com. Um, you can go to DougRuckerStore.com if you want to see any of the products that we have. Um, and then also, if you have a question about products, info at DougRuckerStore.com. So hit me up there. Oh, and by the way, your remotes are up front in front of the passenger seat, um, right in a little glove box there. There's two of them. So you've got uh, a spare in case you ever need it. So on the Kingslinger, we've got it all fixed up for you. Uh, put your new pump on like you requested, and it's been tested. I sent you videos already that we tested it. Everything's working great. There is a muffler deflector on the back here. If I can get it down. There it is. It's, anyway, it's pointing up. There it is. So it's pointing up, so the exhaust is going to come up and not go towards your tank. And then the other thing we did for you is put a drain on here for you the uh, kingslinger drain kit so all you have to do when you want to drain your tanks before every job and sometimes during a job is you're just going to reach your hand back there and turn i get my finger down there just turn that that will let all the moisture out you'll just have to look at the bottom to see when it stopped coming out and then turn this back so it continues to build pressure. So that's an easier way to drain the tanks instead of having to uh, do the little ball valves underneath, little drain valves underneath and this water leaking all into the band. So uh, we also labeled these for you so that when you got it back, you know which one is which. This is water and this is your bleach mix. So it means bleach mix, okay? And so, uh, yeah, and this little thing, as you know, turns on the air to the pump, turn it down, turn it up. That uh, will not send the air to the pump. So you can relieve the pressure in your hose when you roll up before rolling up. Okay, so that's the eight gallon per minute machine. Um, just so everybody else out there knows, he already had these two. We just kind of we just kind of hooked this up, plumbed it up and everything. And he had the Kingslinger also, but the pump needed to be replaced. We had to also put a new unloader on for him. Um, so we did that. 
then it's got a 225 gallon water tank for water now we'll go to the other side and show you the reels and the bleach tank okay so from the side door we've got your fuel tank for the pressure washer which is uh, easily accessible and then we have in the back is your bleach tank and so it's plumbed up top for uh, the king slinger it's also uh, plumbed for the flow pro bypass downstream injector system and then you also have a breather or a vent hose that's going that one up there it's going up and down through i believe that's your vent hose but that yeah that's going down through the bottom of the truck um so that's the plumbing on that and then back here you see this little ball valve there that is a bleach fill so if you have a auxiliary pump um, outside of the van that you want to pump your bleach into the tank without getting in and opening um, the lid then you can do that and I strongly suggest that you fill your bleach tank doing that um, right behind there is your flow red uh, RO system from reach it for your water fed pole and so above that is the hose and the hose reel that you wanted so we've got it plumbed, uh, and I'll show you how you get the water to that in just a second. But that's the hose that you're going to hook to your water-fed pole, and you can reel it right off and clean windows. I think there's like 150, 225 feet of hose, something like that. Um, so there should be plenty for you to get anywhere you need to, and it's all ready to go. You just you know how to do the bottom uh valves for water to come out and then when you're flushing it and all that kind of stuff because you've used this before so that's the flow red we just got it um kind of strapped to the tank because we weren't sure if you want to leave it there or if you want to put it back over there next to the tank just depending on how you want to utilize the space we're trying to leave this open for your little surface cleaner 20 inch surface cleaner i think you said you had you can use uh, put it there and then also over here we have a little space for guns and wands and things of that nature that you can put through there. Just watch your hoses and make sure nothing's laying on top of the hoses. So run your guns and wands underneath the hoses so you don't flatten them or cut into them or anything like that. And so on the hose reel, you've got your soft wash hose um, that you needed. And then your uh, pressure hose will go there that you already have. And your garden hose will go here. And so we've got a little three-way here on the side. And so when this is up and you have your water hose pulled out and hooked up to the water, it's going to fill the water tank up. Once you take and turn this, this will stop the water flow to the water tank and it will go to your RO system. And then water will come out uh, the hose on the hose reel. So just make sure that when you want to use the RO system, the window cleaning flow red from reach it, uh, you can just turn this down. And then when you need water again for the pressure washer, you need to come back over here and turn that back up and then the water will go uh, to the tank. So it's either or um, you can have water going to both places. The way we've got this set up, you've got to, um, Send it either to the RO system or to the water tank. All right. And so, uh, as far as water tank plumbing, yeah, you've got the water coming in there. You've got downstream. Um, everything's plumbed up for, for what you need there. And uh, I think that's it. That's basically it. Gives you a good idea of how to use everything, how everything's plumbed. Of course, if you have any questions, you know, hit me up, Voxer, text me, call me, whatever you need. Um, but I think you're going to really like this. So um, this is a smaller van that we've normally done. This is for the folks out on YouTube. But 
I don't know. This is probably the fourth or fifth uh, enclosed van like this that we've done. This is, a, like I said, a little bit smaller. The height is great, but um, able to get everything in there. It's a little tight, but plenty of room on the, sh on the sides for shelves. You can even hang stuff from up top. So there's a lot more that can still be done with this as um, you grow. But uh, hope you guys have uh, liked this. Hope it's helped some of you guys out there. Again, this was mainly for the um, customer that had us do this. And it's ready to head back to New York. Hey, don't forget, I've mentioned this a few times and just want to make sure I keep getting this out there. We are mainly set up for uh, working with contractors, guys that have a business, um, and especially those who are just starting out. That's my passion is helping guys get started in this business and help them grow their business, um, that type of thing. So if you're a homeowner and you're looking for products, we don't really cater to homeowners. That's not our uh, that's not our thing. Most of our products are not going to work for homeowner style pressure washers. We get a lot of requests of people wanting to do um, to their machines what we do to the machines that we have. But they're two totally different types of machines. And we just don't carry any types of parts or supplies or anything like that for um, homeowner type machines. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you happen to buy something from our site and you're a homeowner, just know it's not returnable. Um, you're taking a chance on it. Um, every now and then somebody does slip through, but when we can have a conversation with folks, we try to let them know that. Okay. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and hope this has been helpful for you. If you get a chance, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notifications. Uh, leave me a like and a comment and above all, hit that subscribe. Talk to y'all later.